Hello guys and welcome to Climbing Daily. Uh, this is David Petz and we are here in London for the film premiere of David's film Reach. This feels a bit Days of Your Life, doesn't it? Days of Your Life? What's the that? Days of Your Life. No, it's what, the big red book. Yeah, that thing. I, th I think it was Days of Your Life. I okay. can't remember. It feels yeah. a bit like that anyway. Well, this is your life. No, it's this, this is, is your, your life. life. There yeah, you go. We just don't have a red book. So David, I interviewed you like over a year ago when you sort of were coming up for the concept of Reach and you started filming a bit of it, but you didn't sort of know where it was going. So just tell us about the sort of the start of the whole project. Well, the start of the whole project started uh, more than that. It was like a year and a half ago. I remember sitting in uh, like a lecture at my, when I was doing my masters and I was sitting there writing and I just came up with this idea and I thought oh I wonder how many climbers I know and who would be cool to like maybe do this film went to like a uh, climbing comp started chatting with Louis and Louis was like really psyched and then started introducing me to people and then it just kind of spiralled from there really so when I initially talked to you, you were saying how you wanted to sort of like change the way climbing films were, were made and filmed mm. um, and perhaps bring some personalities back into it a little bit. Was, was that was the aim with Reach? Yeah, for sure. Like, I feel like climbing films are, they are like really serious like sometimes, but sometimes that's a little bit overbearing. Um, and you kind of, there's always this climber versus conflict kind of thing all the time. It's always about sending really hard things and it's, you know, it's all, that's like one dimension to it. So I look at Reach, like I said to you, like not long ago, like Reach now has become like, a, basically like a climbing skateboarding film. It's like, there's like 10 guys in there and some girls and just like doing their thing and it's mainly just for fun. The route I'm trying here today is an extension to the classic 8B Predator and it's, um, it's a project that I kind of bolted last year or at least it was a line that Steve McClure originally bolted and then he lost interest in and because he's got bigger fish to fry with his new 9B behind me here. And so he sort of, he was happy for me to take a look at it and I, I did and I, I chose to kind of go a slightly different way to Steve, like slightly further left and, and um, but really it's, it's the logical finish to an amazing 8B. So you've got some pretty big names involved in this film. Just give me a sort of like a cast breakdown of who's in it. No, this is like the pressure one now. If I forget anyone, I'll be <laughs> yeah. shot, won't I? We can just add it uh, to the screen. So yeah, right. so well, Louis Parkinson, um, Matt Cousins, uh, Alexander Lamel, who's like Matt's training buddy. And yeah, the, you see their section in the film. It's pretty crazy. Uh, you've got Gaz Parry, Neil Gresham, Steve McClure, uh, Jim Pope. Um, I'm going blank. Emma Twyford, we've got Emma Twyford, um, Storm Biggs, like, is another climber, Matt's girlfriend, she's in it as well, like, gives us some, like, personal levels to some of the stuff that Matt does, and... A few more, but, well... Oh, yeah, I think, oh, Jim Pope, I said, did I say you Jim said Pope? Jim I Pope. said Jim Jim's Pope. It a lot. Okay, good, alright, I'm just double. checking, I don't want to leave the guy out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, it's really like a who's who of the British climbing scene a little bit, and that's, that's, when I heard about the project, that's what excited me, was just, mm. like, I want to see... British climbers sort of out there crushing it. Um, mm. And how much, where, where were you filming in the world? Bit in Britain, bit in Europe or where? Oh, all over the place. So yeah, it started out like, in, you know, stereotypical venues, so like the Peak District. Um, then we went up to Malham Cove, filmed up there, did, went up there quite a few times. And then I did a section on Aidan Roberts, which didn't make it into the final cut of the film, but there'll be like a sneak peek of that released. Um, that's on the Bowerstone, stone, him just like basically crushing like back-to-back -back AAs, which is with like some of them like campusing most of them. So that's cool. Uh, North Wales with Emma, like at the Cromlick, mm -hmm. doing like some old trad routes that she just really loved. That was such a fun day filming. That was really you hanging off the top of the thing? Oh yeah, yeah, I just like, in like, I was like, I found like a really good buck groove. So I like basically right. just sat in there for like three and a half hours. It's scary out there. Yeah, it was cool. That's an yeah, I found like a really be. cool like nut that was just in one of the cracks. So I just clipped in there and I just kind of like sat right. up there. So that was nice. Um, and then yeah, I went to Bulgaria for 10 days with Gaz and filmed in some of these incredible like mind-bogglingly caves I mean you see those like there's a drone shot and you fly through the cave and it's just like what so that's amazing and then Magic Wood so first time I ever went to Magic Wood and we went with you know it was um, it was me Matt Louis Storm met Nathan out there randomly like wasn't planned he was just there with um, Tara and then yeah that transpired and yeah we're in Magic Wood in Switzerland kind of wanted to come here ever since I first heard about it. It's, it's beautiful. All the climbing is right by a river. Um, there's lots of hard stuff and it really suits me. 
I've been training a lot more than I used to. I used to just climb the whole time and hope I got stronger. I don't focus that much, I didn't used to focus that much on strength because you know, being a bit rubbish with technique means you end up relying on your strength a lot. So um, I'd kind of just focus on technique and hoped I'd get stronger at, at the same time. Getting somewhere and feeling like I'm actually prepared, that I haven't been just messing around with climbing and that I'm actually taking it seriously. So this film is sort of truly independent to you. You haven't had any help from brands with finance or anything like that, have you? No. That was something that was like really important when like the film started out was I thought I would have to go down like that brand route. But you know, I'm relatively new to this kind of climbing game, so not many people are gonna invest in like a nobody effectively, are they? So I mean when it all started out, um, I just felt that crowdfunding was like the only way I was gonna be able to get enough and like the money that came from the crowdfunding was Basically, that just paid for like the fuel to be able to travel to these venues and film these people. Like, I invested like all my own money into like buying a van and you know, like my camera kit it was all my own camera kit and with help from other people. So, really, if this didn't have any help from people, like this film wouldn't be happening. So, that's why it's important to me to give back to people who helped me to, st to set this whole thing up in the first place. So if people are watching this, it's too late, you've missed the premiere, sorry. Um, but how, <laughs> how can we watch this film? Because, uh, um, I mean, obviously I'm here from Epic TV. We're showing it on Epic TV. So yeah. just, just let us, give, the, give everyone a little, little hint of what we're going to be hint. putting out on Epic okay. TV and when it's going to be released. Okay, cool. So if you want to know, so it's the 24th of March, the 25th and the 26th at the end of the month and it'll be on Epic TV for like an online premiere for a limited time only. So you can go there, it'll be on whatever, like the homepage, I don't know, yeah, I assume yeah. so. It'll be on the banners, it'll be a homepage. Yeah, be and then to. it will be on there and it's free to watch, just go watch it, make the most of it while it's there and then once that's finished it will be on Vimeo Demand Okay, and that's it. And we'll be putting out like, I feel like I'm selling this now, but um, <laughs> we're going to be putting out um, in the kind of two weeks before it, there's yep. two sort of Ooh, pretty yes. exclusive very, little clips. Very, yeah, very exciting little bits. Give yeah, us a little yeah, teaser yeah. of those. Um, so what's, well, yeah, you'll be watching this. So the trailer is going to be after this, like the new cut trailer. So you have to stick around for the end of the episode for that. So that's the first thing to start with. Uh, and then after that, you're going to see Aidan Roberts' section from the Bower Stone. Like I said, about crushing multiple ages back to back, which is just hilarious. Um, just because we can't fathom that. Um, and then you'll get to see Emma Twyford's section from North Wales, which, I don't know, it's something about that filming up there was just incredible so I mean so you'll get to see that and then the film awesome, will be released well man it's been awesome watching you sort of progress over the year yeah. and getting all this sorted so, and I haven't actually seen this so um, we're in the cinema everyone's about to come in and I'm going to watch the film for the first time in its full new entirety so I'm super psyched and mate massive congratulations thank you very much yeah, cool really <laughs> excited <laughs> let's go get the people yeah yeah cool <laughs>